Hi guys, and how are you doing today? I trust you've had a fantastic and a great start to your week. Today I'm going to be talking about procrastination. It's one of those words that I find a bit funny to pronounce, so please bear with me as I go along. Procrastination has been called the thief of time, opportunities assassin, and the grave in which dreams are buried. I'm going to say that one more time. Procrastination has been called the thief of time, opportunities assassin, and the grave in which dreams are buried. A thief, an assassin, and a grave. Phew. Let me break that down. Procrastination steals our time, and our time is so precious to us. They say time lost can never be regained. We can never go back to our yesterday. But sadly, many of us, whether intentionally or not intentionally, allow our time to be stolen from us. We use words such as, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, and tomorrow never comes. When we talk about opportunities, great opportunities are rare and come very sparingly. And what procrastination does is procrastination delays our preparation. And guess what? When these opportunities come by, it's the prepared ones that run with it. What happens when we continue to procrastinate? Well, our tomorrow never comes. We miss out on opportunities. And these all lead to our dreams being buried in the grave. Procrastination is so dangerous. We need to remind ourselves of that when it's happening. We need to remind ourselves. Let's start by sticking to our smaller plans. Whatever plans we've made, let's start by sticking to those. And this would help us stick to our bigger plans. Which will in turn let the world have us and have what we have to bring to the table, which is our purpose. Procrastination. A no-go area. A thief. An assassin. And a grave. Let's stay clear of it. I'll end here by saying you have a blessed, a great, a fab, and a procrastination-free week. I'll talk to you soon. You take care. Bye-bye.